All right, introducing to you, I think Gary referred to it as the HB 5000. There she is on top of my chair there. He had been down in his dad's garage making me this. It is a witch's broom for me. Now he grew up, his dad was big uh, Harley guy, big motorcycle club guy. So he, he told me all this stuff like handlebars and something about a side something and suicide shifter that he put on there. You see it? He even put the gears on it for me. Got my little side seat on it. Look at that. Look at that. I got to get Gary up. I got to get Gary's. Um, whoa! This is so precious to me. This is precious. I cannot break this. I got it sitting over here because I didn't want it to get rained on. I really don't even know what I'm going to do with this thing. I ain't going to lie. I have no idea. Look here. We ain't even seen the best part yet. I told him, I said, this moves. And he goes, yeah, so you could steer it. I guess he really thought, <laughs> I guess he thought I was going to take off and fly on this nether. I don't know. Yeah, look at there. So what, what do you all, what, what? what? <laughs> so he made me my very own witch's broom. Remember my videos last year? I had the little sparkle broom. I got it, Michael's, you know, the GT500 with the sparkles. But now... I got the HB 5000, I think is what he called it. And if you're if you're wondering what HB stands for, he says it means hell bitch. So I guess I'm supposed to, um, yeah, like side saddle this thing. So I guess when I take flight, I don't know how this is going to work, but I but I'm supposed to like like sit on it like that, I guess. But I'm I gotta hold my phone too and hold this. But then I can shift my gears and I can fly around here on my um on my witches. Listen. If I, it, it, I didn't think that I could love him any more than I did when he brought this up here. When I saw this, I said, that boy took his time, his dear sweet time, and went down there in the garage, and he made me this for me, to do something nice for me. He meant the world to me. He don't need to buy me flowers and diamonds, no. He made me a witch's broom. And that right there is... good stuff right now no 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 it's good stuff right there he also made me something else and um uh, we're we're bit, we, we we've recently gotten into riding side by sides and i my my whole life i've went without riding side by sides up until the past couple of years i've been somewhat sheltered and i worked a lot and now we have side by side and we've been riding we go riding with our friends and it's a fun time we have a fun time but of course when you go riding for 8 10 12 hours up in the mountains you gotta you know Got to pee, pee, pee out in the in the woods. Just got to squat down wherever you can and just go hide. And normally, this is how we do it. And we're like, the girls, Gary, the girls got to pee. I'm going to ride them up the road. And, you know, they're like, okay, stand clear, whatever. And you just, I know this is TMI. But, and you usually squat. And, I mean, it's not that hard to do. It's really not. But Gary thought about me and was like, I need to do something for my, for my lady so she don't have to put herself out if she's got to pee while we go riding. I want you to look at this. Look at this. All right, y'all ready? I got to get a bag to put it in. Okay, so he made this. You just, you just, let me see if I can do it. I think I can. Okay, you just put it in there. Look at there. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Look at there. Just right on the back. Just, all the girls are going to be jealous. Yeah. So there's no balancing act anymore. You can just, you know, that's wet. But, you know, you just sit. Sit and pee. I told Gary, I said, you know, if we got more than one girl peeing, you're going to have to like slowly roll up or something because we can't all pee in the same spot. He said, I hear you. I hear you. Living my best life, guys. I really am. And what's even better, I got a neighbor down there. It's got a sticker on the side of his vehicle. It's a Tahoe and he had the T and the A removed. So there's no Ta on it anymore. It's just a hoe. He drives a hoe. And you want to know what, what's on the windshield? Well, not the windshield, but the window on the side. Y'all ready for this? titties and tacos so if you ain't living in southern west virginia and ahead of a holler with your neighbor riding around in a hoe with titties and tacos on it you ain't living you ain't living as an added bonus i'm going to let gary tell you all about his creations this is the ehb 1000 i was so wrong on the name <laughs> it comes complete with a bedazzled skull and Drag bars. And 
it has a right-handed suicide shift with a side saddle gunfighter style seat. This baby's powered by a thousand screaming cats. That's right. And the engine's made of real frogs and pumpkins. Where where would the where's the engine at? Under the seat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now what else was you wondering? Uh yeah, there I had a quick something oh yeah where did you find this lovely uh the body the frame where did you find that at i was driving down the hill and picked the stick up out of the creek <laughs> cut me a piece of grapevine and uh looks like a fork <laughs> off a maple tree well i just i love it i love it i do and i love she's you. raked out 18 inches in the front it probably won't turn on a dime but she'll fly okay now i, I would also like for you to discuss the um the makings of your creation, which, I mean, somebody else might have come up with that prior to, but they may not have. Something like that might have exist in the world. I don't know. The Bushmaster 12 here. Y'all don't pay no attention to our yard or anything. You know, we just, we're building a new house, so it's, it's a construction zone still. This is the Bushmaster 12. It's for one and two in the woods. Uh, <laughs> inverted a reese hitch with a two-inch drop. And... I was out of MIG wire and I had to use my stick welder. So it ain't as pretty as normal. But this baby right here, it'll hold the weight. I weigh 240. Beats the hell out of squatting and peeing in your shoe. So when Elda was talking about what are we all going to do when we go pee? Well, I'll just put the baby in low range and creep forward while your feet stuck out and about it well i love all my new things you're very handy to have around and yep. you're not bad to look at even on the, the throne over there you just only at farmers do it all center that's right that's right